Talk about beautiful new buildings. The doors opened this morning to San Diego's long-awaited Central Library. It is more than twice the size of the old library. News 8's Alicia Summers joins us live right now with an inside look. Alicia, good morning. Good morning. It is big and beautiful and breathtaking. Take a look around. The new Central Library located in East Village here in downtown is officially open for business. Folks are already taking advantage of this nine story $185 million Central Library, which has been 30 years in the making. Construction on the library began in August of Five hundred thousand square foot facility is more than twice the size of its predecessor and features a career center cafe and an outdoor garden. We even caught up with the first person who checked out a book here. I think it's terrific, and I think the city is is uh, really uh, turned out to see it open. We were down on Saturday for the dedication. There were thousands of people here, so it's a big event for the city of San Diego. Absolutely. The library holds the charter school E3 Civic High, which can accept about 500 students. That school is located on the 6th and 7th floors. The library also has 250 parking spaces on two levels. Now, this new central library will close at 8 o'clock tonight. The hours are different depending on what day it is, so you definitely want to check out that schedule. And we have posted that schedule on our website, cbs8.com. Dan and Nichelle. Well, three decades in the making, San Diego's new downtown Central Library is at last open to the public. KUSI's Ed Lenderman was live this morning as the doors swing open. Under an arch of blue and yellow balloons, San Diego's colors, dozens of people of every age, tots to seniors, were the first to stream into the three-story lobby and its huge concrete gravity arch. Soon, the nine-story new downtown Central Library with its distinctive dome and other iconic features, did we mention the gravity arch, was filled with hundreds. They included 75-year-old David Duvall, who brought along his 15-year-old grandson, David. In 1954, Duvall, at the ripe old age of 16, was the first person to check out a book at the old Central Library. Guess who was the first to do so at the new library? Books were a very important part of my life. I've got an extensive library at home. But what about grandson's generation? Do we really need a multi-million dollar library in this high-tech age? It's just so, so nice to have the actual thing in your hand. And there's just something special about reading that, like, you can't have anywhere else. Grandson's comment was echoed by Debbie Arnold, who brought her granddaughter to the opening. I still think that people like to have something physical in their hand. We'll be back here tomorrow because they have a program for young children in the morning. Deputy Library Director Misty Jones, live on Good Morning San Diego. And we have answered what the public needs. We have more computers, over 300 computers, you know, as a, um, in contrast to the 50 that we had at the old library. We have iPads, we have Kindle, Fires out for checkout, so we have an really, art gallery. We have an art gallery. We have a special event space, tons of meeting rooms and study rooms. And a reading room under the dome that would be the envy of any public library in the country. Shh, it's a library. Well, maybe tomorrow. In downtown, Ed Lenderman, KUSI News. San Diego 6 News at 10. It took more than 30 years. Today, the new Central Library in the East Village opened to the public. For one man, the experience extra special. San Diego 6's Candace Wynn found out why, for him, this library is part of a family legacy. All right. Woo! A milestone for San Diego. The new Central Library shines like a new penny inside and out. David Duvall was among the hundreds of people who explored it for the first time today. For him, the ordinary task of checking out a book 
was extraordinary. I've always felt I was part of the library system, and uh, here I am again checking out the first book. Nearly six decades ago, Duval was the first person to check out a book at the old Central Library. It was an honor back in 1954. It wasn't planned that way, but it happened. And uh, when I was asked to come back this time, it was a, it was a great honor. I'm probably going to miss the next opening. That's where his grandson, also named David, comes in. He's made a pledge that the next time they build a new central library, he's going to check out the first book. I actually brought it up, so I wanted to be the one to do it. And he said, you know, David, I was going to ask you to do that same thing. This is more than just a library. Shh. Oh, sorry. This is more than just a library. It has a charter school, even an art gallery. Take a look at the reading room that has a view of the San Diego Bay. New rooms new features for San Diego to make new memories. In the East Village, Candace Wen, San Diego 6 News.